Hello, people of the internet, and welcome. Hello, and welcome back to a another episode, I know, of um, uh, the Golden Rupee Challenge, which I decided to name. That was... that sentence was completely the wrong way around. I decided to name these videos the Golden Rupee Challenges, so welcome back to what is the fourth episode. Um... As you remember, we were... I don't know why I did that. As you remember, we were on our way to the Forsaken of all fortresses. So, let's do it. Mmm. That's, that's not very nice. You've probably hurt the shield's feelings by saying that, Tetra, and I disapprove of that. Whatever, if I'm ready, then let's go. I am I am so ready. I don't care about saying goodbye to people, because they all suck. Oh, that's pretty. It's a large gong. Made for special purposes, such as today. For bidding farewell to a young boy's family. That's what the gong was made for. It actually says that. If you look on the back, it's actually what it says in the, um, on, like, the manual. God, I live with some ugly people. I mean, that kid just get a tissue. And the other kid carries a stick, for some reason. I don't even... Ah, That's kind of sad. I guess. See you later, you old bitch! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, it's taking too long. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Finally. Uh, no, I don't want to quit, you see. I just, I wasn't too sure about saying goodbye is all. I wanted to read her out in a voice, didn't I? But we decided against it because of my terrible, terrible voice skills. I'm not feeling the Irish today either. That's the one voice I can actually do. But uh, it's not. I'm just not feeling it today. So you're not going to get an Irish me. What can I do to help? Oh, okay. Well, that's not, okay. I've told Nico to look after you. So you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Let's do it. Let's go. Below deck we go. What do you want? Mm. Mm. That Nico didn't make out half bad. With you being the new swabby and all, new swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real deal, but hey, I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. Bless him. How can he be the bottom rung when you can't see, or at least you've cracked one of your glasses? I would get that fixed if I were you. Just a suggestion. A kind suggestion, which I think I'd make. I thought I would make. So here we are. What was that? It sounded like he had a bad throat. Swabby, as of today, I, he is my superior, Nico. Now, I promise, he promises he'll go easy on me, so I'll have to do as he says, is that okay? Yes it is, thank you very much Nico, you lovely man. Right, now first of all you have to take the test all new pirates have to take, it's a bit of a doozy so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you, real careful like, okay I know all this, come on. You're gonna go stand on the switch and act like you've just done the most amazing thing in the world, so, yep, come on. I want to just go. I want to go and hit things. We discussed this a few episodes ago. I just want to hit things. That's rather fancy technology, isn't it, though? Check it out. After the platforms rise off the floor, you got to jump. Okay. Ah, lovely. Okay. Okay. So okay. So I was able to jump this first one myself, but the next one isn't too far, right? That's when you got to do this. That's, um, I actually, I'm the voice actor that played him. Did you know that? It's a bit, it's a, it's an unknown fact, really. 
because no one knows it. That is why it's unknown. Okay, this could be hard on an emulator. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna we're gonna struggle through. So the platforms only stay raised for a little while. So if you don't get them by the time they drop, you have to start over. Fair enough. He likes shouting as he jumps, doesn't he? Bless him. Simple-minded Nico. At least one year. That's quite a long time. I'm not gonna lie. That's the that's the things babies are made out of. That didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry for my nonsensical babbling. Actually, by the time you get this, you might be quite disappointed because there's going to most likely be a break because me, Joe, of the Mobs in Black, I'm actually going to Croatia for three weeks, which is, um, you can kind of see how that might hinder my output of videos, yeah? So, um, so we have that to deal with. I'll talk about it after I've done this, so, after I've got to the Forsaken of all fortresses. Thank you, that's probably the f first nice thing anyone's said to me, this whole Let's Play. I wonder if it's okay just to give it that to him. Easy Yorkshire for some reason. I don't see why not, I doubt I'll get busted. You should buy their CD, they're brilliant, year 3000 and all that. And all, and all that jazz. That was very, very English of me. Sorry. Don't mean to be so English, it just comes naturally, I guess. Okay, I won't do that ever again. I, pro <laughs> I promise, that was horrible. That was painful for me, for your ears, for next door, my next door neighbours, they probably heard it. Oi, I swear people are just, I know I'm kind of rattling on about that, but everyone says oi, like every, that's not even an under, that's not even like, that's not an exaggeration, everyone says oi, without a doubt. Let's go top, up top, hello, what is your name? Your name stop right there, this is Miss Tetris Cat, that's a strange name, your parents must not have loved you. Open the door, the door to life and death and nothing else. Come on then, Tetra, you old bitch. Alright, you're up there, are you? Up I go as well then. I wonder if the moon has a face. I want to see the moon now. I don't care about the Forsaken Fortress or my sister. I just want to see the moon. What was I doing with Nico? I was having a nice warm bath. No, no treasure at all, Tetra. Promise. I wouldn't lie to you. I just wouldn't. It's not the type of thing I'd do. Cursed Isle, known as the Forsaken Fortress. Ooh, it's rather scary, isn't it? It's got a nice bird up the top as well. There are all strange rumours. All sorts of strange rumours about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the hideout of a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks pretty dangerous. Fair enough. I knew it. Look, over there. Where? Oh, there. By the window. The window, the window, the second story window. High, low, high, low, chuck it out the window. Um, I have actually. There was one time in 84 where there was about 6,000 seagulls. And would you believe it, they were all competing for a pineapple. And I was like, why are you trying to compete for a pineapple? And then the seagulls didn't answer me because they didn't speak English, so... I guess that story was wasted on them. We would be spotted, that's true. Ah, oh, she's upset, no. 
Oh, she's not upset. She's sneaky. Huh? What? Why am I in a barrel? Oh dear. Oh god. See, I don't see this going well for me. And um, what kind of noises am I making? Hing on! Hing on! What's hing on? I don't even know what hing on is.